Renewal Lutheran Church and Oasis of Care. Come on kids, let's worship!
that, that all of you are here today. Are you ready for have some fun? Yay! When we have the Holy Spirit inside of us, we will be loving and loving. I will have joy. I will have peace. We will be patient with one another. We will be kind to others. I will be good. I will be faithful. I will be gentle. And I will have self-control. Today, we will be continuing our series on the fruit of spirit. We will be looking at faithfulness. So, what is faithfulness? means to be trustworthy, excellent, loyal, and so many more. The Bible tells us in Proverbs 28 verse 20 that a faithful person will be richly blessed. That means to have a rich reward, to have a happy life, and have many, many, many blessings. Ooh, that sounds good, doesn't it? that God has so many good things prepared for you. God has given you the power to do great things. But sometimes we don't see these great things straight away. Remember King David? He didn't become king straight away. Before he was a king, he was faithful taking care of his father's sheep. In the same way, kids, you can be faithful in the things you are doing now too. As a student, when you do your homework, when you listen in class attentively, you are being faithful. When your teacher asks you to wipe the tables every morning before class starts, and you do it every morning, you are being faithful. At home, when your mommy and daddy ask you to do chores such as sweeping the floor or setting the tables, and you do them, you are being faithful. As you continue to do these things, even when they might seem like very small little things, God will bless you even more. Just like how the master in this story blessed the servants who were faithful. Once, there was a rich man who was about to go on a long trip. Before he left, he told his servants, Take care of my things while I'm gone. He decided how much each servant will be able to care for. To the first servant, he gave five bags of money. To the second servant, he gave two bags of money. And to the third servant, he gave one bag of money. Have you ever been put in charge of something? Maybe your parents or your teacher asked you to sweep the floor or wipe the tables. Maybe put away your toys. When we are in charge, that means we are responsible. When the master left for his trip, his servants were responsible for what they were given. The first servant immediately worked out with the five bags of money and earned five more. The second servant with two bags of money also put his master's money to good use and he gained two more. The third servant however took his bag of money and dug a hole and buried it in the ground. After a long long time, the master came home. He asked his servants what they did with his money. The first servant who got the five bags of money brought five more bags to him. That was ten bags of money. The master was very pleased. He said, Well done, my good and faithful servant. You have been faithful with a few things, and now I will put you in charge of many things. Come and celebrate with me. The second servant who got two bags of money brought two more bags to him. The master was also very pleased. He said to him, Well done, my good and faithful servant. You have been faithful with a few things, and now I will put you in charge of many things. Come and celebrate with me. Then the servant who received one bag of money said to the master, Master, I was afraid, so I hid your money in the ground. The master was not very happy that the servant did not put the money to good use. So the master took his bag of money and gave it to the servant with ten bags instead. You see kids, before the master went on a long journey, the master left everything he had with his servants. The servants didn't know when the master will be back, but they did the things they were asked to do faithfully. And when the master came back, the servants who were faithful celebrated with their master. 
and their master gave them even more and made them in charge of many things. In the same way, when you were faithful with little things, whether at school or at home, you will see God doing big things in your life. Let's pray. Dear Jesus, thank you for all your faithfulness toward us. Thank you so much for love and promises. I pray that you will continue to teach us and guide us to grow to be more like you. In Jesus' name, Amen. Today we're going to make light projections that you can make with just few materials. Fun right? Let's get started. To start off, here are the things that you will need for this craft. Firstly, you will need a white and clear cellophane tape, toilet roll, or you can use a paper cup and cut out the back of it to have a round circle shape as well. Then you will need a pair of scissors, some colourful marker pens and a flashlight. Firstly, grab your empty toilet roll and your cellophane tape, tape it over toilet roll. Now you can start drawing. After you've drawn your outline, you can colour it in. You can also search out for any special cartoons or designs to draw yourself. After you are done drawing your designs, you may take them and with your flashlight and they will come up like this. Ta-da! Pac-Man! Feel free to try with more designs, explore them yourselves and you may be surprised with what you can project. Have fun kids! Bye! Hello everyone, my name is Tiki and today I'm going to tell you how to cook and cheese omelette. So, let's go to the ingredients. Here we have one egg, half an onion chopped, one slice of cheese chopped, one onion chopped, some butter, and some salt. So, shall we start cooking? I'm going So, here is the pan. And the flame is on medium. Now let's add the butter. Before we add it, make sure someone is with you. My mother is the one with you. Add the butter like that. I'll just need to pan around the Now, since we added the butter, we just need to wait for the butter to melt. So now that the butter has melted, let's add the egg. Just pour the egg. Now let the egg cook for a while. Add the cheese. The cheese. So just put it in here. I'm adding cheese because after the egg is fried, the cheese will nicely melt and it will make the eggs very nice. Now that's enough of cheese, now let's add the ovens. Use your fingers to spread it. Maybe a more. Okay, that's enough. Now let's add one chili, chop, you can add it if you want it to be spicy, or you don't need to add it. Now that we've added all the ingredients, we just need to wait for it to fry for a while. So, now that we've waited for a while, we can turn the egg. 
I am not turning the egg because I want my egg to be a bit nice. So instead of turning the egg, I am just holding my egg. Now inserting the egg could be hard if you can't ask your friend to help you. It's okay if your egg breaks. Yeah. So now the egg has been folded. Now just need to wait for a while. We are using a non-stick pan so that we do not need the egg sticks. So let's bring it to the plate now since it's ready. Ta-da! Here is the cheese omelette. It's very good for breakfast. I love it. My sister loves it. We can have it for breakfast. Bye! Thank you, Jesus, for dying on the cross for our sin. It is such a great joy to have you as our Savior, Lord, and friend, knowing that we have complete forgiveness of our sins.